Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode coming at you from the Drunk World Sea. Today my friends, we're starting off with this. Another Moon Lord, that is right. We're going to get straight on with things today, my friends. But as always, I do want to say a huge massive thank you for all of the incredible support in the last episode, guys. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you do want to continue supporting this series, the best way to do so is simply to drop a like. And of course, if you want to go one further, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or at the time of this video being made to get 10% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So, here we are. I'm very excited to get this thing on the road because now that we have ourselves this uh, little celestial starboard thing, I'm hoping that we'll be able to avoid Moon Lord's attacks even easier. Yeah, I also discovered that if I hold down, yeah, look at this. We've got the ability to hover at incredible speeds. So, kind of cool, right? Kind of freaking cool. So let's go ahead and buff ourselves up a little bit. Got nowhere near as many buffs as we had in the last episode with the Moon Lord win. But I'm hoping we can still do the job. I certainly hope so anyway. So as always, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. And basically, just keep on going here. We're just going to keep on going. Keep on trying to avoid his attacks. Avoid his freaking laser. Rather like so. And uh, yeah, guys, now that I have indeed defeated Moon Lord once, I feel like I've got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, let's say, a little bit of confidence. I mean, look at that health bar. It's absolutely a draining. Very, very cool. Really? Really? Wow. Okay. Well, that just killed my vibe. Okay. There they go. There goes my vibe. I, I was, uh... <laughs> Ooh, that's not good, is it? That's not good. That's not good at all, man. That's not good at all. I was I was vibing there. And then it just got absolutely freaking ruined. Ah, oh, jeez. The only thing is, if I was to go ahead and uh, make another summoner, we would have below the amount of fragments we need to make all of the armor sets. You need 45 fragments of each type to be able to make each type of armor. So... Instead of going ahead and making another summoner, or should we? I don't know, man. I'm kind of at an impasse here. Do we go ahead and make the summoners and try to get ourselves an epic weapon from Moon Lord? If we manage to take him down, that is. Or do we go ahead and try to farm ourselves a whole bunch more of the pillars for more fragments? Hmm? That's the question. That is the question. I don't know, man. Right, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is, at uh, the very least, we'll go ahead, increase our damage by a little bit. I mean, if we're going to go for two Moon Lord attempts, we need to have two loads of buff potions, right? So, there's the Heart Reach. So, that is obviously good. What else do we have here? We've got Thorns. Ah, only one Thorns potion. Big sad. All right. And then we've got the more basic ones here. Swiftness and Regen. Okay, cool. I think... We're going to go for the Moon Lord. All right. There we are. Second phase. That eyeball needs to go bye-byes real quick like here. Okay. We need to be careful. We need to be careful. We've got 20 seconds until a heal here, guys. But with that said, we're still doing at least a good amount of damage to this dude. And we still seem to be evading the lasers. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't. Don't die. No! Ah! Oh, God. Okay, don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. And heal. There we are. Okay, right. I'm feeling a little bit better. Maybe I can get close enough for the dragon to actually do a little bit of damage. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. Moon Lord number two for today's episode. Moon Lord attempt number two. More to the point. There we have it. We did it. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and see if we get the master mode drop here. Uh, no. Okay, a little bit disappointing, but hey-ho. Let's see what... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me, Terraria. Please. Please don't do this to me. Okay? Please. I want unique weapons, not the same ones over and over again. Do you give me a Lunar Portal Staff on my third attempt here? And I'm going to be very, very mad. No! No, you f 
freaking... Ah! I had to change direction there because I wasn't able to freaking do damage to the leftmost arm. No. Hmm. That's kind of annoying because at this particular moment, I don't feel like I can reliably always take down Moon Lord. It seems to be a little bit hit and miss depending on my ability to dodge. So I'm pretty annoyed about that one, actually, because, ladies and gentlemen, what it means is we need to go ahead and do some things. Mm, we need to do some uh, more pillars, don't we? Anyways, before we do any of that, though, we should at the very least, be able to make ourselves the full set of Vortex armor, because as you can see, we have a whopping massive surplus of Vortex fragments. So here we go. Let's get them all made. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. This is fantastic, isn't it? There's the Vortex pickaxe and the hammax. I mean, to be honest, I'm not really too fussed about any of that. What I am fussed about, however, is going ahead and getting more pillars taken down. Oh, jeez. Well, this isn't going to be a massive pain in my backside or anything. All right. Well, there goes the cultist. Ah, I just realized I'm pretty sure it requires, what, 18 fragments in order to make the vortex weaponry. So, unfortunately, at this particular point in time, uh, we don't have the ability to make the phantasm or that freaking... Uh, gun or but I can't remember what they're bleeding called at this point but anyway the point is there's not really much point in me actually going for the vortex armor at this particular point but once we do go ahead and take out the vortex pillar which is over to the far right this time which is where the solar one would usually be then yeah we can make the vortex weaponry and then we compone some dudes wow Screw you, Alien Hornet. I just took three enormous bunches of damage in one go. Well, that's not cool, is it? Hey, let's go, baby. The Vortex Pillar is just about ready to be taken right out of the game here. Take out those freaking Storm Diver dude thingies. Get out of here. Those guys with the shotguns are actually kind of nasty. I won't lie to you. But anyway, there goes the Vortex Pillar. How many fragments are we going to get? 60 on the dot. Very nice. So with all of those fragments, of course, we have the ability to make the Vortex Blaster and Phantasm. You see, I've never been able to determine out of these two which is the better. I mean, I do like the Phantasm for the insane arrows, but I also love the Vortex Blaster because there's like a small chance of it like doing enormous damage with like an alternate type of ammo. I don't know, man. I think what we'll do, to be honest, is just make both of them. And then, yeah, then we can say we've got literally every single celestial weapon made. <laughs> We're going to reforge them and see if we can get Unreal on both. I mean, that would be rather nice. I mean, then again, Deadly is a very nice thing to have as well. Plus speed. I mean, that's already got 74. That Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know which one to go for. They're both so nice. They really are, dude. Ah, you see, this is where having the bow might actually come into play because we have the archery potion here, but we don't have an equivalent potion for bullets, do we? We don't have like a bullet potion that increases bullet damage. Obviously, the nearest thing we'd have at that point is what? The wrath potion or rage potion? Whichever one it is that increases your damage by 10%, just a flat 10%. So maybe going for the phantasm might just be the way to go, guys. So check it out. We've got the ranger emblem here with 19% increased damage and then the molten quiver here with a further 10% arrow damage, which is pretty darn insane actually so we've now got 115 range damage coming from the phantasm here i think the last thing we need to do is find the merchant buy four stacks of arrows and get ourselves the infinite quiver as far as i can remember we need to visit the whizzy boy here we need to buy ourselves a crystal ball and then place it down, and then we'll be able to make ourselves the thing right there and then, I guess. Uh, so, for now, just going to place it right down here. 
And there it is. The Endless Quiver. Here we are. Another chest. We've got Celestial stuff. So the Nebula Blaze can go in there. The Starter Cell stuff can go in there. And yeah, honestly, we're looking pretty good for the other pillars, I would say. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do here, my friendos. If I was to go ahead and use my buff potion here, this thing now does 144 range damage, which is dizzying. That is a hell of an amount of damage for a bow to do. It really, really is. The ultimate test, of course, is to see how it fares against the eventual Moon Lord. So, let's keep on going here. Let's see what happens, eh? Hey, guys, check it out. Turns out you can use stealth mode while on your celestial starboard. Huh. I must admit, I didn't know that. But it only seems to use it for a certain amount of time. Like, it doesn't seem to be a permanent state of affairs being in stealth mode. So we're still in stealth mode at the minute. Uh, I mean, I guess as long. Uh, I mean, look at that. It's still activated. Huh. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? This thing now does 205 damage. I wonder if that's a bug. I feel like stealth mode should not be enabled right now. But yeah, here we are doing a stupendous amount of damage. Yeah. This is where the Ranger armor is going to seriously, seriously struggle. I feel like we're going to wind up with a lot, a lot, a lot of issues with the solar pillar. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. We'll go ahead and give it a really good stab here. Let's get our health back and let's get right on back over there and see what we can do. I, I, I hate this pillar. I hate it. I hate this pillar. I hate every single thing about it. There are no viable ways to take up the solar pillar without dying. It's just not possible. It isn't. You stay near the floor, you get ruined by all these little Dracanians and the swollen dudes that do freaking deflecting damage on you. It's not possible. I genuinely believe it is not possible to do the solar pillar without dying. I, I honestly genuinely believe that. It is utterly ridiculous. Like truly, I think this pillar, or more to the point, the enemies of this pillar, they need to be nerfed in some way to bring the difficulty down to the level of the rest of the pillars. Because at the moment, it just seems wildly unbalanced. But I can't be the only one think- Come on! I can't be the only one thinking that! Surely! I think from here on in, I'm not going to be using my super healing potions because I have a very, very limited amount of these things. We go ahead instead and just accept the death. Go ahead, use the nurse, get our freaking health back that way. Or, of course, optionally, we go ahead and use the vampire knives. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to- I'm just going to keep grinding this out. We're going to get this freaking pillar done. We're going to get right on with Moon Lord, all right? Mm. I hate this pillar. I hate this pillar. I hate this pillar. I hate this pillar. I hate You know what? I'm using these treetops here. And you know what? It actually seems to be working fairly well. There's absolutely zero people spawning on my right hand side. So I can sort of manipulate the spawns here with the solar pillar. To be honest, I think that's what a lot of the solar pillar is going to be. Is just cheesing it. Like, tell me that there is a legit way of doing this pillar without dying thousands of times. I won't believe you. It won't. It just won't. I genuinely believe this pillar is too difficult if you don't cheese it. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep going ahead and doing this pillar the best way I see fit. Dude, honestly, 355 damage. You can't be serious. You cannot tell me that that is not overpowered on their side. You seriously can't tell me that's not overpowered. It's ridiculous. Dude, come on! Dude! This is really getting on my nerves now. This is really getting on my nerves. I hate this pillar. I can't, like, I, I just, I hate it. I hate this pillar. Will you stop it with that stupid deflect? Ladies and gentlemen, if today isn't a lesson against using the ranger loadout, I don't know what is, man. I do not know what is. I hate this pillar. I hate it. 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 And I hate it. Terraria dev, stop laughing at me. Nerf the fudging solar pillar for God's sake. Get it done. Get it done. Get it taken down. I don't care. Just get rid of it. There we are. I don't care that I died again. I just don't care. I just care about the fact that the pillar is taken down. I don't want to have to take down the pillar again, man. I'm telling you. It's just... Oh, oh, oh. 
That pillow really grinds my gears. It, it grinds my gears something terrible. It really does. There we are. There are my fragments. We have 53. That actually seems like a bit of a low number for a master mode freaking one. But anyways, let's go ahead, get our health back, and let's do the final pillar before another Moon Lord attempt. To think that I was in such good spirits when this episode began. And as always, the solar pillar is the one to destroy it. How many of those? Oh, <laughs> oh this this episode is grinding my gears so bad. Come on, Python, calm down. Come on, buddy, come on. Dude, honestly, oh, I'm so done. I'm so done with these fudging pillar dudes. I really am. I don't want to have to take these guys down again. Nebula floaters, please uh, kindly leave. No one likes you. Literally, no one likes you. Go away. Right, we're done. We're going back to base. Can I go ahead and TP? No, I cannot. I am screwed off the freaking rip. I can't get my health back quick enough. I could do that, but that's obviously got limited usefulness to us right about now. Oh, boy. Okay. I imagine this is going to be a fail just from the freaking rip here, ladies and gentlemen. If it's not a fail, then... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Time to see what our ranger loadout is capable of. So far, not that great stuff, if I'm being honest with you. But hey-ho, like I say, you never know what may wind up happening here. Doing my best to focus on the top eye there. There's the laser. We're definitely doing less damage than if we were using our summon loadout plus the daybreak. That is one thing I am noticing straight off the rip here. Okay, right. Come on, baby. Come on. We can still do a f ah. We can still do at least a fairly okay job here. Come on. We're in non-grav. Why do we always wind up in non-grav? That is not helpful to our cause by any means. Come on. Come on now, top eyeball. You're gonna die. Come on, buddy. My aim has got to get better here. It's got to get better. And there goes the top eye. All right. All we got to do is keep on with the eyes on the hands. Okay. Wow. Ugh. Somehow managed to avoid all of that. I have no idea how I did that. I'll be honest with you. But hey ho. All right. Any second now. Oh, somehow managed to avoid all of that. Incredible. Okay. Okay. We don't have any healing points. No, 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 no. Go away, eyeball. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not cool, boo boo. Not cool. All right. Come on. There, no, 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 no. We are struggling a little bit. No! I am so done with this episode! I don't want to bloody play anymore! I don't even know whether or not the freaking uh, potion gooldown had gone or not. I don't know. I, I, I am, I'm at my wit's end here, ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely ruined the Moon Lord in the last episode. We've ruined him in today's episode as well. But we seem to be having a lot of troubles. And it's really, really grinding my gears. Like, really, 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 really grinding my gears. The thing is, even if I was to make another summoner, I wouldn't have the fragments needed to make any other sets of armor. And I gotta be honest, I am not, I am not enjoying this ranger set. I'm sorry, but the summoner set with the daybreak was far better. So do you know what? I'm going to do myself a favor here. We're going to revert to type because I am done dying. All right, so believe it or not, we can actually make a bunch of these here superior healing potions, which restore 200 life, which of course is very, very useful. And uh, yeah, should be looking all right. I wonder if we have enough to actually make the two summons. We only have 35 vortex fragments, but I'm pretty sure you can transmutate them into the other fragments. So there's one of the celestial sigils. Now what we need is five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can have a second sigil. Okay, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do this thing. We're bringing out our freaking golden set again. Come on, Pythonator. Come on, Pythonator. Come on, Pythonator. Come on. Another Moon Lord freaking victory would be amazing. If we can get close enough to the point where the dragon can do damage here. That'll be, ooh, that'll be fantastic. If I die here, I'm, I might as well just retire. I might as well just retire. Don't do it, Python. Don't do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. That health bar is so low. I just want it done. There we are. 
Oh, okay. Right, another Moon Lord victory. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's uh, that's put my mood back a little bit, at the very least. Okay. Hey! Guys, I don't know if you saw that, but we got the Master Mode drop and the trophy. Ooh! Piece of Moon Squid. Hey, 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 All right, if we get another Lunar Portal stuff, I'm literally quitting the game. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Sort this, man. Oh, you thought I actually ended the episode, huh? Well, you thought wrong. Let's start off by putting some things in our collections here. Uh, we do have the piece of moon squid, whatever it was. Uh, let's see what we got. It's a baby moon nod. It's as simple as that. I mean, it's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> All right, we'll stick with the cosmic skateboard, though, just so we can go ahead and put the moon squid thing inside of its collection area. So there it is. Fantastic. Literally, Betsy is the last item to be gotten. The Betsy Master Mode Drop is the last one. All right, let's get some Luminite bars here. And to be honest with you, there's not really too much we can make at this particular point because guess what? We need to grind out even more pillars if we're wanting to make any more sets of armor. <sighs> Definitely unfortunate indeed, but oh well, eh? Oh well. We do have another Moon Lord Summoner. And sod it. To really end off today's episode, I think that is what we will do. Okay. One more Moon Lord attempt. Let's get it done. I swear to the Lord Terraria gods, if I get another Lunar Portal staff, I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm just going to end the series, man. Like, seriously. This crap is annoying. It's literally given me three Lunar Portal staff so far out of the three Moon Lords I've actually managed to take down. And that, my friendos is what you call RNG taking the freaking biscuit. So how about no there, Terraria? You give me another one, and I'm gonna be absolutely mortified. I really am. All right, the final Moon Lord of today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see how it goes. Hopefully, it's gonna be another victory. I sure hope so. I'm so tired of dying today. Like, honestly, the death count has probably gone insane today. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just done dying. All right, I'm done dying. I am. I'm done. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, Master Ninja Gear, thank you so much, Master Ninja Gear, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Ninja Gear, thank you so friggin' much, holy crap, if it wasn't for the Master Ninja Gear, I would have died from those friggin' eyeballs coming after me, and as a result of the Master Ninja Gear, literally a direct result of the Master Ninja Gear, we got the victory, wow, okay, I can't believe that, the Master Ninja Gear actually came in pretty clutch for us there, and I'm very, very happy. All right. Yay! Hey, we finally got something different. The Meow Mir. One of the two Moon Lord Swords required for the freaking thingy. The, the thingy thing. The Zenith. Yes. I guess once we get the Zenith, all of the pillars and all of the freaking Moon Lord fights will just come, like, incredibly easy to us. They really will. So... Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, first of all, we can go ahead and put the moon squid on now that we've got a duplicate. And second of all, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Yes, it has been a bit of a ragey one, but uh, you got to understand and you got to relate, right? I mean, the master mode freaking pillars are just an enormous pain in the butt. I still firmly believe that the solar pillar enemies need to be nerfed in some capacity because they are disproportionately more difficult than the rest of the pillar enemies. They really are. I mean, obviously, now that Terraria is not really being updated anymore, the actual chances of that happening are probably pretty remote. But, uh, you know, a man can dream, right? A Pythonator can dream, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I'd very much appreciate it if you guys would drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.